guys? It's Lauren and today I have a box. You know what I'm gonna do? Open it. Since you clicked on this video, that means you've seen the title, read the thumbnail, you know what's in here. A brand new iPhone 10. Now, I have never seen one in person before, just pictures and videos, so I'm really excited to actually get my hands on one. So let's open her up. She's open. Wow. I always love Apple's packaging. Like, it's literally just so simple. It's just a white box with the picture of the phone on it. They're very simple, straight to the point. So let's get right into it. Oh. In one clean sweep. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Not get rid of this yet. Oh, okay, you guys. Not gonna lie, um, seeing just, okay, who cares about this stuff? Seeing just like a flat, like all one even color, wow. All right guys, not gonna lie, first impression so far is when it's turned off, it's literally just all solid shiny black, but we've got one more plastic to peel off. You guys ready? This is the most satisfying one. got the glass on the back now which is I think they're kind of going back to how the fours were with that not gonna lie feels good I have my 7 plus right here which is the metal or whatever you want to call this and I actually really do like this one it's soft this one's kind of like it's not like sticky because obviously it's not but like when you run your finger over it, it kind of sticks versus like with the metal it just like slides around right now you can't tell where anything is so let's fire it up the power button on the side is a lot bigger. If I compare it to this one, it's literally two times the size. Oh, we've got our screen. All right, now guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was never really a fan of how this looked at the top because the screen goes on both sides and then like the camera and all that stuff in the middle. But I do kind of like the fact that the screen goes all the way to the bottom. You guys, I really wanted to do this video because I don't know if I want the 10 or if I want the 8 plus. And yes, I would stay with the plus because I really do like this size. This one is slightly bigger than the smaller phone, but apparently the screen is almost the same size. But I just, I don't know. If I were to get the 8, it would be the plus, and obviously the 10 only comes in the one size. So leave a comment below what your guys' opinions are. I haven't seen an 8 or 8 plus in person either. This is the first time I'm getting to play with a 10 in person. And I do kind of like the fact that the camera's like on its side, like that's kind of cool. How do I open this? Why won't you go? Oh, swipe up. Okay. I was trying to swipe. Like how it normally is, but you have to go up like that. So that's weird. English, United States. Let me do all this stuff real fast and then we can get back to playing. Before I go on any farther, look at when you start typing, it literally like cuts off a bottom right here. So like why don't they just have the phone right there? You know, that's kind of dumb. Alright, so it's all set up you guys. And I read the little tips where they're like how you go home is you swipe up. On the bottom, so let's just open an app. We'll just open messages. And to go to go home, you just swipe up like that. Now let's open a different app. And to go in between them, you swipe up, but you just hold it there a little bit, and then you can go to your other one. That just seems like it's gonna be a lot to get used to, in my opinion. Wow, like I literally just went to hit the home button. I'm someone who likes to close all of my apps after using them. Not exactly sure why that started. It's kind of habit now to just, you know, Double tap the home button, swipe up, get rid of all the apps, boom, clean, done. But with this one, I've been messing around with this for 15, 20 minutes. I still have yet to get the apps to close, so I'm not exactly sure what that's all about. You also swipe down from the right to get control center. And I don't remember if the left is your notification. Yeah, the left is your notification. So, like, I don't know. I feel like, obviously, the longer you play with it, and you, you'll eventually get used to it because that's just how everything is, is it takes a while to get used to, but... I don't know, I'm still debating on if I like it. It definitely looks really pretty, in all honesty. And I do like the glass on the back, it just, it's really shiny and I like shiny things. Honestly, I need help deciding, you guys. How my phone plan works is I can upgrade every single year, and I do because I'm a basic white girl. Hi, so I upgrade every single year. Now I went to the 7 Plus, which I never wanted to go to the plus size before, but I did because I wanted the double camera. 
because I love portrait. Every time I upgrade the phone, it's really just because one, I want a better camera, and two, because I drink the Apple Kool-Aid, okay? I want the latest Apple product. I can't help it. It's bad. What are you gonna do? So I need help deciding if I want the 10 or if I want the 8 plus. So please, 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 please help me put your inputs in down below. I'm trying to decide if this is worth all the hype because obviously the 10 is the newest and the coolest, but is it? Is it worth all the hype? What is really cool about the 10 though is that it does have the selfie camera portrait mode, but I don't take selfies. A white girl who doesn't take selfies? Yep, she exists. So that's really not a selling point to me if you're about to write that in the comments or something be like, oh, you can take portrait selfies. Like, no, I don't really care about that. I really need your help. Which one should I buy? I Please tell me what to do with my life. Thanks. If you're new here and you don't know already, I have a giveaway running on my channel right now. When I hit 1,500 subscribers, I'm giving away a pair of super dope socks from a mystery box that I opened a couple videos ago. I actually, of course, have a pair on right now. I've got the bright colored ones on because I've got a bright sweatshirt on. You know what's good. We always keep our sock game 110 over here so make sure you subscribe like this video and comment down below that's how you enter into the giveaway by subscribing and commenting on any of the videos the more comments you do the more times you're entered just because you have a better chance of me seeing your comment and picking it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace